channel if it's your first time here go ahead and subscribe and if you're returning welcome back so my name is Ashley if it's your first time here I gotta sneeze mm. thank you because I'm blessed I wanted to pop in on y'all because I seen something crazy on the shade room so I was on the shade room I forget what I was doing on there but I was scrolling or whatever. Let me make sure it's a shave room and not baller alert because we give our credits. Yes, we do. My allergies have been, oh my gosh. It's something attached to my vocal box. I know it because every time I get ready to talk, it starts acting up. Okay, shave room. So I'm on the shade room and I see a video of Aaron and Nick Carter if you're not familiar with them, they are from, were they in a group? Was one of them in the Backstreet Boys? I don't remember, but I know they both were performers and like, you know, that teen bop sensation. I remember them from when I was a teen. <laughs> okay, this is them, y'all, and it has been confirmed that Nick was in Backstreet Boys. I'm drinking this nasty behind Rosé. Mm -mm not the business well this is actually really sad y'all so Aaron Carter posted this video he tagged the FBI and it says hey FBI my brother Mildred and told me in confidence in his pickup truck she was 91 years old and my brother told me he covered her mouth so no one could hear her put me on a polygraph machine please FBI my mother knows she was taking care of two elderly women who were on hospice, Mildred and Opal, who my mother was keeping alive at FBI. What are you going to do about that? Nothing. I'm reporting a from Nick on SN, I guess, senior elderly woman who was dying and was 91 that he strapped Nick up to a polygraph machine and a really good one, please, at FBI. So Aaron Carter right now is posting a video of his brother Nick Carter what looks like he's shoving him around, being very aggressive towards him. And people have said that Aaron Carter has been having problems with drugs. Um, I like I'll be honest with you, I remember them from when I was a kid, but I don't know what they've been doing for the last I don't know how many years and I really like haven't been checking for them. <laughs> but this popped up this popped up on my feed and I'm like this ties right into what I talk to you guys about what we talk about as far as mental health as far as family trauma I mean so this is not something that is new this is something that Aaron Carter already knew so you mean to tell me this he got to walk around with this information like, can you imagine? And I'm sure there's more where that came from. Like, this is all alleged, I guess, allegedly, because this is just a video that was on the shade room. It looks like him and his brother are getting into it really, really bad. Aaron is getting his head shoved in the wall and the doors. He's getting pushed around. He's obviously smaller, but he's not backing down from uh, Nick. And I don't, oof, this is so cringy to watch. Like I said, it's on the shade room. And when I looked at the comments, my family would never put family business on the internet. Thank God. Who are these people? So why not do this when it happened? Now there's no evidence and you're only talking because you're mad. Somebody says, sad, you're not your brother's keeper. Who is Mildred? What is going on? So, like, I feel bad for Mildred, obviously. Like, so she might not even have the mental capacity to know what has happened to her, allegedly. And that makes me really sad because that ties into, like... That's just disgusting. Like, think about a 91-year-old woman. That, ooh, that had to be very painful for her, traumatic. And like I said, we don't know if she can even vocalize or verbalize anything. Obviously not. I mean, she's probably petrified for her life. Like, imagine what that's done to her mental state. And then Aaron Carter withholding this information for I don't know how long. And then Nick, ew, like, you look like a monster. I mean... God forbid if this is not true, but I just wanted to like share that with you all because 
I don't know if some of you were fans like I was of like some of the boy bands back in the day. A little guilty pleasure. But I was a fan and you know that kept me in a happy place and um, that's what I was on when I was a kid. So it just makes me sad to see that people are going through things like this and the only outlet that Aaron felt he had was social media. So now Mildred's business is all out. Um, whoever Mildred is. And his mom is going to be in trouble because I think he did say that she knew. Let's go back. His mother knows. So what have y'all done to him? Like this is so sad. Oh my gosh. So yeah. I don't think it's funny. I don't, I don't think it's funny at all. People are just like... Oh, you're just mad that's why you're saying this now like people don't usually make up stuff like that I'm not gonna say it's never happened but come on those details like Mildred and Opal like you just going why would he just say that that's weird like I hope that they do something about this let me go to his page because I saw something on his page too because I was being nosy so so right before that there was a post about money and his song and this and that. I pulled this record September 14th before everyone tries and spins how Pyro was dropped. Here's how at first. Trying to make it seem like my song was dropped because it was a song and a threat to my family and brother. F you for working with a r-a-p-i-s-t against me i'm suing the f out of everyone Ooh, this is not good Ooh, see i told y'all i told y'all this music industry is so dark and that uh, mm, that's crazy okay so the post after the one where they were fighting is are you aware there is a change.org petition for your arrest Wow. So people are sharing this on Twitter. He's saying he cannot be silenced. He's saying Wendy, he tagged the Wendy show. He tagged FBI, Fox News, CNN, ooh, Las Vegas, or I don't know, LVM, PD, LAS, DLAN, Donald Trump. He tagged Donald Trump. Oh my gosh. You see how, mm, I can't even say what I really want to say right now. Because at the end of the day, Mildred is hurting, Aaron is hurting, and I can't even say what I want to say right now. This is not okay, like, to be trying to throw this out now, like, no, that's not true, because he was trying to say something, but they held him legally bound. Okay. As well, you should be, I tweeted a screenshots to Las Vegas PD. Mm. The police have been notified. We love you, Nick. Stay strong. We all have your back. Mm. Yeah, this is not good, y'all. This is not good at all. Keep this in mind, though. Keep this in mind. Like I said, there's a lot more that I feel like I want to say, but I don't want my platform, not my platform, but what I have so far. Like, I don't want to be in a specific box, and I'm unsure, like, what lane I'm supposed to be in because I don't like labels like that. So I don't want this to turn into something that I have in my head because that would be me speaking on emotion because ultimately, like I said, the person hurting here is Mildred. So I have to keep that in mind before I speak. It's an unfortunate turn of events, period, and I really hope justice is served to whoever deserves it and that this family can get some healing. So let me know your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, and make sure you uh give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the commentary or if you want to know more about this case i'm gonna put some links down below so that y'all can kind of check it out for yourselves and so you can watch the video because i don't want any kind of copyright or anything like that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys which will be black china